Hello, and welcome to Critical Environment Technologies video tutorial series, SCC Calibration. In this tutorial, I will demonstrate the calibration procedure for the SCC self-contained controller. To calibrate the SCC, you will need a calibration kit, gas cylinders with a sufficient amount, correct concentration and type of gas, and a voltmeter with hook-on leads. It is also important that you make sure the sensor you are calibrating has not passed its life expectancy. In this demonstration, I am using an SCC with one internal CO sensor using channel 1. There are three steps to follow when calibrating the SCC. The first step is to set the cal gas value. To calculate the value that needs to be set, you must use the formula shown on the screen. The values we know are the factory set cal gas default for CO is 100 ppm and the CO sensor range is 200 ppm. Using the formula, we are able to calculate that the cal gas value for CO is 2 volts. Although the factory default is set to 2 volts and corresponds to 100 ppm of cal gas concentration, we strongly recommend that you calculate the cal gas value to ensure this setting has not been changed in the field by another technician using a different cal gas concentration. For example, in a situation where you might have a different cal gas concentration in your toolkit, you will need to use the formula to calculate the correct voltage so the unit knows what reference to use. For example, if you are using a 50 ppm concentration, you will calculate that the cal gas value should be set to 1 volt. Open the SCC and find the jumper bank on the left side of the board. There should be one jumper on idle and one jumper on channel 1. These are the default jumper positions. Find the test points TP1 and TP2 on the board. Attach your voltmeter and keep it attached until the entire calibration procedure is complete. To set the cal gas value, make sure one jumper is on channel 1 and move the idle jumper to set cal gas. Look at the voltmeter to confirm that the voltage is correct. In this exercise, it should show 2 volts. If it is not showing 2 volts, use the rotary encoder dial to adjust the number. To complete the set cal gas value procedure, move the cal gas jumper back to the idle position. To begin the null calibration, attach the regulator to the cylinder, insert the calibration adapter into the sensor opening in the front of the enclosure door, and open the regulator valve fully, allowing the zero gas to flow over the sensor. Move the jumper from the idle position to the calibrate position. The internal LED will be solid red and stay on for 10 seconds. The external channel 1 LED light will alternate orange and green. The voltmeter should read zero. If the null calibration su is successful, the internal LED and external channel 1 LED lights will blink eight times. Next, the LED lights will repeatedly blink four times and then pause long off. This means it is time to flow the span gas. This must be done within 60 seconds or the unit will be locked into a fault condition until successful calibration is completed. If a zero or null adjustment is all that you are wanting to do, move the jumper from the calibrate position back to idle. To continue with span calibration, attach the span gas cylinder and open the regulator valve fully to allow the span gas to flow over the sensor. When the gas flow is detected, the internal and external LED lights will blink four times and then long pause on. Once the gas is detected, spanning will take two to three minutes. The voltmeter reading will start increasing. When the spanning has completed successfully, the internal LED and external channel 1 LED lights will blink short on and off. The voltmeter will show the percentage of the original sensitivity remaining of the sensor. The reading should be greater than 0.8 volts. The closer it is to 4 volts, the more life there is remaining in the sensor. Remove the jumper from the calibrate position and return it to the idle position. This completes a successful calibration of channel 1. Continue the flow of gas and the voltmeter reading will increase. The low alarm LED will come on and relay 1 will be de-energized. As the voltage increases, the high alarm will come on and relay 2 will de-energize. 
This indicates that the unit has been successfully calibrated and the sensor is responding to gas. Please note, if there are fans connected to the relays, they will be activated at this time and the alarm will sound. If the sensitivity of the sensor is calculated to be out of range for what can be compensated for during the null calibration, the internal LED and external channel 1 LED lights will blink a pattern of long on and short off and you will need to do an override. Leave the jumper on calibrate and move the jumper from channel 1 to override. This must be done within 30 seconds or the calibration will be cancelled and the unit will return to normal operation. If outside the override range, the fault LED will blink for 5 seconds and calibration will be auto-cancelled. If the override is successful, the internal LED and external channel 1 LED lights will blink 8 times. After using the override position, return the jump jumper to channel 1 and proceed with the span gas calibration. Similarly, if during the span gas calibration, the internal LED and external channel 1 LED lights blink a pattern of long on and short off, you will need to do an override. Leave the jumper on calibrate and move the other jumper from channel 1 to override. If outside the override range, the fault LED will turn on solid, the channel 1 LED will turn off, and the test points will output 4 volts indicating the sensor cannot be calibrated. If the override procedure is complete, the internal LED and channel 1 LED lights will blink short on. Return the jumper from override to channel 1 and the jumper on calibrate to idle. This completes a successful calibration of channel 1. If you would like more information or in-depth training, you can sign up to take our training service training courses. Please visit us at criticalenvironment.com or call 1-877-940-8741.